juicy with the buffalo wing soda. What the fuck is this? Oh, that smells that smells terrible. Oh, if I drink all that, I'm I'm actually gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I might throw up. If I throw up, I'm sorry. We're back, baby. We are. We're back. Back. Yes, we're back. Back in America. Back in the setup. Back to uploading videos and being a YouTuber. Today we have a very, very special and weird game for you. It's called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. I'm not exactly sure what this game's about. I've seen zero gameplay or anything from the screenshots. It seems like it's more of a story, if anything. But um, yeah, I don't know. It looked weird. So I thought, fuck it. We're, we're going to play it. Uh, uh, that buffalo wing soda got me feeling crazy, dude. Holy shit. Buffalo wing soda, two out of ten Eddie VRs. Do not recommend. Help me buy milk. Getting straight into it. Write down your name. So far, so good. I'm on my way to the store, rehearsing the speech. I haven't been out for so long that I've forgotten what words they say when they enter the store. Okay, so I'm going to buy milk, and I'm having a hard time remembering basic human conversation. I'm on my way to the store. Who are you talking to? I imagine being a game character. What if it helps to gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know, there are games in which you can see characters' thoughts right on the screen, you know. So I thought if someone reads my thoughts, then I have to be really concentrated so as not to whip up the extra haha. -ha. Oh, okay, this is already breaking the fourth wall. I'm deeply breathing in. Hello, can I... Can I... Uh, can I... Uh, I'll help you! Completely forgot. Literally drawing a fucking blank. What are we looking at too right here? This looks crazy. 19th attempt, and I'm falling asleep again. I bite my lips with annoyance. So once again, hello, can I get... Wow, a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying really hard. So am I right now the person's thoughts? What? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. We'll stick with it for a minute. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Ugh. I better keep my lips sealed. I can just straight up bully myself or whoever the fuck this is. I'm pretty sure I'm talking to myself. Ha <laughs> ha, fucking loser. Don't insult me, please. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the asphalt and your right foot on the grass for a whole minute. Wh wh what? My, my, my right leg froze in the air. H how much? 50 steps on asphalt and 51 on grass. You'll have to cancel the previous step. Hee <laughs> hee. How do you imagine it? This is not the first time. You're taught how to do it. Come on. I don't I don't remember. I'm gonna burst into tears. So I, I think right now I'm having a mental conversation with myself while walking to the store to buy milk. I think that's what's happening. I don't know. I have no fucking clue, dude. This is this, the, the game just looked weird. Okay. I'm going to burst into tears <laughs> uh, from the beginning. So step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly into your own trail. We're learning how to cancel a step right now here, everybody. This is wait, wait. How is it step one if we're on 50? What? So it's already the 52nd. But wait, if I'm going backwards, then 50th. It still doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, okay. Step 50th. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. Could you paraphrase it at least a little? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You are fucking hopeless. Honestly, maybe I am hopeless in this fucking situation. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you'll you will be very, very guilty if you do not buy milk. I can't imagine going home and telling your mom you couldn't get the milk because 
you had a hard time canceling one of your steps. Like a complete mental dilemma overtaking the 50, 51st step. Also, the backing track is freaking me the fuck out. Damn, really? So, are you ready? Yes, yes. I gently changed the position of the leg, peering carefully into the thick grass. When I entered the store, I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I? What the fuck is that? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh, again. Oh. Oh. How long does this go on for? You better not do that. He's clearly not going to change his lines. You run the risk of falling into an endless loop. Thank you, game, for not having me get caught in the endless loop. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it anyways. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me. But how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What is so terrible about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. So I, I have a phobia of the letter O. I can show. Explaining won't be enough. But keep in mind that it'll... What the fuck was that? What was that? So that's what comes to mind when I think of the letter O. Okay. So this guy obviously is trying to scare me. It's something like that. So I'll just keep on ignoring his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. I can't. What? Ooh. I gather all the will into a fist. Oh? Oh. <laughs> My interlock, my interlocutor, sh inter. I'm never. That's not a real word. That there's no way that that is a fucking. There's that's not a real word. I'm not buying it. My interlocutor shook and crawled. You just repeated after him, and it worked. Do it more often. Wait, I said that he crawled, but did he really crawl? Because I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Yeah, just now. Personally, I did not hear. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. Did she say that he crawled? I don't know. I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves, there are bags of milk. Where in the world do they sell bags of fucking milk? It's like the canned bread thing. It's not okay. It's fucked up. I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves, there are bags of milk. The two of us are standing, and milk lies. Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you remember why you came? Whoever this is, like, gets completely wrapped up in their head. Hey, hey, slow down. Do you remember why you came? T to buy milk. So buy. Right, right here? How, in your opinion, should I reply? Hmm, I suppose something like, not here. You are getting on my fucking nerves. With your rambling, I can't take this shit. You don't want to help me at all, do you? I sigh and pull my hand to take milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside. What? What? Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk and of milk inside reception go to reception 15 minutes before the store closes hurry up i remember what these games are called visual novels Novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, in letters. Are visual novels are visual novels worse than books? But authors are not lazy there, and you don't be lazy too. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore. So watch your language. 
Wait, what? Are my thoughts visible? I'm gonna think of a big, fat, meaty cock. And if one doesn't pop up on the screen the next second, I'm uninstalling. <clears throat> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or there'll be no good at home. Already running. Alright, let's buy this fucking milk. Uh, hello, can I get milk, please? What the fuck is that? You have it! Uh... Give! Uh, I put out a weighty bag at the pay desk. Of course, not just a bag of milk, too. But milk, too. Hello, can... I get it back, please? No! This guy's a fucking asshole. Talking a lot of shit with someone with such a little flimsy fucking neck. Jesus Christ. Please! No! But please! Mom will throw me out the window if I get back without the milk! No! P -p why not? Give more! But I don't, I don't have anything else. Hey. Oh, what? They hate you. You are pathetic. Pay for the milk. We have two options, really. We can mentally bully and abuse this person who obviously has some sort of, like, severe anxiety, social anxiety, and that's why they're fucking geeking out constantly. Or we can just tell them pay for the milk. They hate you! Why? You are dumb and worthless. You can't even go to the store for milk. I hope mom throws you out the window! Although, even in flight, you'll think it's just a fun attraction. Looks like your name doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. I failed. I failed at helping her buy the bag of milk. Fuck! I didn't know we could- I didn't know we could lose! Your name... Two. I hope you can do it better than your name. Okay, we're back! We're back! Your name, too. The reincarnation of your name. My peak creativity. I guess we gotta actually help her buy this fucking bag of milk. Or her mom will throw her out the window. So where we left off, this guy... So a second ago, this guy was just fucking harassing us. Asking us for more money. Because we gotta pay for our bag of milk inside a bag of milk. And Hey! What? Pay for the milk. Haha, <laughs> really? What would I do without you? Oh, that was easy. I pull a crumpled cash out of my pocket and give it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. About two days have passed before he nodded satisfactorily and put the cash in the machine. Thank you. Goodbye. We did it. We bought the milk. I'm walking down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly pulls away from my hand. Reminding me of the times I took physical therapy. What? This is taking a really fucking dark turn. By the way, they gave me a bag at the pay machine, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk inside another bag. Don't get me wrong, I just like the... Pyramid... Pyramid... Don't get me wrong, I just like the pyramidal structure of verbal construct... Const... That, this isn't English. Don't get me wrong, I just like the pyramidal structure of vi verbal construction chewins. A gas station is getting closer. Uh, how are you feeling? You bought the milk? Thanks for your interest. I feel like a mile of ice cream. Someone who doesn't speak English probably, uh, was like, yeah, we gotta throw in, like, one of those, like, funny English, like, uh, sayings. I feel like a mile of ice cream. I feel like a mile of Chick-fil-A soft serve. What is that supposed to mean? As if I'd tell you. But I'm really interested. Well, look. The ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. I agree. It's not the tastiest ice cream unless you want to drink more than eat. So, the way from the store to the gas station is a stick. And the way from the gas station to home is the ice cream. For today's walk, my body will be in every part of this way. Simple maths. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. S simple, simple math. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains, petrol stations. I'm trying to keep my balance. How do people move on something as uneven as an urban plane? Neat, heel, sock, I count every meter of the way I've gone. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, hey watch out! Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step aside. At the same moment, a huge bear sweeps past me with a wild ripple? What? Hey, I'm walking in! I'm throwing a stumbling peek at a rapidly moving animal. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? You, you might have died. Come on. Are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? You are sick. The world is cruel and dangerous. I'm not in the world you're talking about. So this girl's just completely wrapped up in her head. Like 110%. My path continues. If you think about it, the way from the store is one interesting property. In the most bizarre ways, it adjusts to me. When I hurry, all the traffic lights are servicefully extinguished. When I want to cry, a cloud appears and pours rain flows that hide my tears. Right now, I feel how the cloud is slowly gathering over my top. I'm sad. Are you sure all this is really happening? And how else? Have you never been visited by the idea that all this is only in your head? The instruction did not say that at all. Apparently, these pills don't work on me either. Pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I am really, really grateful to you, but please, no more. Do we make, do we make her accept the truth? Now listen, the tooth, the tooth hurts. The tooth hurts. Okay. I don't know. This is, this is a tough one. I don't know if she just has like some sort of severe anxiety. If she's fucking schizophrenic. I don't know what's going on. You must accept the truth. You must accept the truth. You must accept the truth. No, 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 no. Fuck. Looks like your name too doesn't help me at all. Fuck, dude. I did it! I thought maybe that, you know, I was gonna be constructive. Ah, fuck me. Bofa. Maybe Bofa will do better this time. Okay! Fuck, we're back. Current objective, keep this girl uh, alive and happy. Okay, so we're just, while she's describing all the rain clouds forming above her head, we're just gonna, we're just gonna stay quiet this time. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk about whoever is reading it right now. So that's juicy. That's me. This can affect on your recovery in a wrong way. As you say, I squeeze my head with the hands and set a thought block. With the edge of my eye, I notice a small bench, a great place for clinched visual novel monologues. I'm getting closer, putting a noticeably heavy bag of milk nearby and raising my head to the sky. Is that the sky? It looks beautiful. Look at that. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I understand I'm going crazy. Drugs are working less and less effectively. So ultimately things will happen painlessly. I hope. Do you understand what I'm talking about? E yes. Please write down with a capital letter, you'll ruin the narrative. Yes. Really? I must be quite unlike an exemplary protagonist, right? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now I need a lot of effort just to distinguish letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I wouldn't like to say my diagnosis. I would really like to hear your diagnosis so I can figure out what the fuck is going on. Let at least you be the one who sees me as I am. Even if I made you up, don't take away from me, okay? Don't ask me about too much. How stupid is all this? From the very beginning you followed me, read my delusional thoughts, heard my stupid conversations. Maybe I seem crazy and weird to you. Yes, bitch. Yes, you, you do. You seem very crazy and weird. 
What is it like to see the world with my eyes? Ever since something happened, I only see red everywhere. Now, don't worry about me. I've been used to it for a long time. To be honest, I even forgot what other colors look like. Let it go. Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all because I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think they're the ones who are scared. Can you imagine it? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Why, well, I have an idea. I'm serious! Of course you couldn't not ask. I'm in the end. I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have raised this topic. So you're really wondering what happened to me. Yes! 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 Tell me! I won't take time. What do you see? Um, what do I see? It kind of looks like, uh... Are you sure? One way or another, this is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I would never have thought. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. In general, he threw himself out of a window and died. This is my last memory. Then, a long gap. Wow. Fuck. Uh, I'm sorry about calling you a crazy bitch. Strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I've been able to buy something from a store without a serious incident. Of course the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more of your merit. I was thinking all the time, do not screw up in front of the reader or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a character in a visual novel for the sake of going to the store today, but it is clearly born fruit. Thank you. By the way, I think there are some frameworks in our communication. That's how I like it. Nice. They covered into the fucking frame on the chat. And yet, I'm so sad lately. I think more and more about what my life has become ever since dad was thrown out of the 900th story window. Well, you understand. Day after day is the same. I've tried so many pills that I can't feel difference between them anymore. As long as they keep me on my feet, I'm happy. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. Me, me, you got me. I want to tell you so much. I didn't get to read it. I'll tell you. It was very rude of you. Oh no. I will not press you. I just advise you go home. Who is this? I don't think it's me. I understand. Well, dear reader, let's go. Who interjected there when she wanted to talk to me? She, she wanted to tell me some stuff and someone stepped in saying, I, I think you need to get home. Get the milk to your mom. I stop on my floor and hang by the railing, repeating this action every day like a ritual. I stopped being afraid of heights. A few minutes ago, the pills finally came to naught, so I'm just enjoying blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melody sounds in my head. Mixing with the sounds of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. So am I off the pills now? Was that music before the pills? What's, uh... I turn around to go to my apartment. Wow, beautiful place. That's, uh, that's definitely a dick. Did you bring milk? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Did you bring milk? Yes, mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, mom. Go to bed. Yes, mom. Is that it? What the fuck? I need a second. I, I, I genuinely, I genuinely think I need a second. So that was milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. I have no clue what the fuck just happened. So obviously, this girl she has some sort of crazy anxiety or and or social anxiety she believes that her mom wants to throw her out the window which we got a little glimpse at and she probably thinks her mom also threw her dad out the window to be honest i think her dad's definitely dead 
And I think that crazy, I mean, she was literally th dissecting every step she took on the sidewalk, like every single one. Um, I don't know if she's schizophrenic. I don't know if she's been in an accident. I don't know. I think that's kind of the point of this whole thing is that you're supposed to sit here and fucking think about it for the rest of your life. I'm, it's, this game is literally just meant to give you an existential fucking crisis. Ah, uh, ah! Um, that mom looked fucking creepy, dude. That mom looked like a big baby. Like that bitch literally looked like a big baby. Well, anyways, guys, that was a bag of milk inside of, uh, that was the milk bag. I hope you liked it. I had no clue what that game was going to be. I literally uh, just saw it on Reddit and I was like, that looks really weird. I'm going to play that. Not really as much of a game or a visual novel, but that was, that was interesting. I almost wish it was longer because that was getting really interesting. Yeah, it just seems like someone who has a very, very hard time with their thoughts and is very afraid of their fucking mother. So if you if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, send me angry emails about how much you uh, hated me and the video. And uh, I will see you guys next time for more Shrek 4 Blu-ray.